What's up, everyone? Welcome back to After the Storm and the NHL 2005 Franchise Mode series. We are back with Episode 5, a 4-0-0 start to the season, a great start for the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, so far, so good with this team. Everything's working out pretty well. Uh, the matchups are looking pretty good as well. We previewed Anaheim on our last one. This should be one of our easier offensive and defensive matchups of the season. Most likely where we might run into some trouble is in the goaltending department. J.S. Shiger is one of the best goaltenders in the game. Certainly, especially in this game, coming off two really good seasons for himself. Um, I mean, like, he was entering his prime right about this time. He's three, uh, two, year, two seasons away from a cup, so pretty good stuff here from J.S. Shiger. But taking a look here at the preview, obviously we have advantages in... Uh, offense and defense as well as the overall system of the of our teams by comparison um, pretty so far so good for the Ducks as well they're sitting eighth in the uh, conference uh, taking a look at the goaltenders or goaltenders rather Tommy Salo is going to come back into the net for this one against Shiger uh, we're on a back-to-back -back, so I, I do want to take some of the pressure off of David Abisher because this is you know uh, at this time of these these video games you could actually have your goaltenders get fatigued quite a bit so trying to alleviate some of the stress and plus tell me Salo is pretty good an 87 overall goaltender as a backup is not bad at all so uh using him as much as we can throughout the season you know alleviating some of that pressure of that workload off of David Abisher is probably going to be beneficial to us come playoff time because you know if with the way we're going so far this season it looks like we're going to be in the playoffs and I mean having a lineup such as ours with how good we have been and how good our team uh, really looks on paper we should be in the playoffs it should be a bit of a no-brainer so uh, it, it does lend itself to make it a lot of sense to splitting up probably 50 uh, and 30 games per guy so there's nothing else really to you know go over um, there's gonna be I'm not sure maybe Fedorov is on the Ducks I think that's probably the big one here I let's go take a look at the uh, the player stats for the season for Anaheim. Uh, that'll be a big, probably, indicator of who they... Uh, yeah, Fedorov might be in Detroit right now. No, Fedorov is in Anaheim, as you guys can see here. Six goals, two assists. He's probably been their best player. Uh, Ozalinch, a young Joffrey Lupel here. That, uh, Vinny Prospel, Soleil Skula. This is a pretty decent team still. A young Andy McDonald there, too. Yeah, really, oh my god, look at Chris Kunis. Chris Kunis looked the exact same as his entire career. My guy, Stanislav Chistov. Five games, zero points so far, though. Oh, my God, he's he's young here, too. Probably getting a lot of help from their goaltenders, I would assume. Take a look at their goalies. 3-3-9 goals against and 8-5-1 again. I'm pretty sure the game is just not, not good for, you know, the save percentages in here. Uh, and that's not a really great goals against for J.S. Shiger to start the season, but... Uh, likely he'll improve as time goes on. So nevertheless, guys, let's go ahead and get into game number five in episode five of the season against the Anaheim Ducks. Welcome to Arrowhead, the pond in Anaheim. We've got the Avalanche and the Ducks coming up next. Mike Babcock's Anaheim Ducks ready to get this game underway. The Lightning, or the, the, the Red Hot, I should say. Uh, Colorado Avalanche coming into this game 4-0-0 to start their season. Sakic, Fedorov on the draw. Fedorov's going to win it. Finds Skula, the former Colorado Avalanche. There's Crossbull. He can't get the shot away. Blake finds Hayduke, and they'll bring it out. Sakic the other way. Sackick will take a hit from Joffrey Lupel, the rookie in the lineup for the Mighty Ducks. Comes Crossbow as Blake 
As he's continued to do all season. Laying the body there. Tongay finds Sakic. Sakic pushed off. Turned over. Bringing back the other way. Here comes Prospel. Prospel. Rubbed out by foot. Sakic the other way. Some first shot. He can't get it off. Prospel there. Looked for the outlet. Couldn't find it. It's turned over to Tongay. Tongay looking for a shot. They gonna get it off. No, he passed. It was intercepted by Jaguar. Niedermeyer. Back the other way. A shot. That one's weak. It's on to Tommy Sallow, and he's gonna be able to hold that without issue. Take a look from Martin School of this hit. And Joe Sackick as he came into the zone. Nikolishin on the Dragons Paulson. Nikolishin will win it. Finds Bonnet. Barnaby. The other way. Loses it to Ward. Ducks start back the other way. Oh, Nikolishin stood up. Cheese top there. There's Ward with a shot. A blocker stopped. The first one for Salo in this game. Here comes Svatos. Svatos passed through. Blocked away. Cheese top finds Paulson. Paulson takes a hit. Penalty up coming to the Ducks. Saddle to the bench. Here comes Nikolishin. He'll take a hit. As the Ducks touch it up. Peter Sikora. Going to go two minutes for hooking. As the Ducks head to the penalty kill. The Avalanche to the power play. Not a solid power play to start the season for the Avalanche so far, not where they'd like it to be. And of course, they've given up some shorthanded goals as well so far this season. Rob Blake coming back. In, passes it across, can't find anybody there. It's jumbled around. Jason Crowe's going to bring it back the other way. Foot shoves him off. Hadou to Blake, finds Sakic across the ice. Sakic loses it to Skula. Skula will dump it out. Back into the avalanche zone. His foot starts the breakout. Here's Hayduke. Hayduke in. Takes that hit from Keith Carney and turns it over. Steve Rucci. Rubbed off the puck by Tongay. And back come the avalanche. Here comes Tongay. Trying to get a shot away. Finds Sackick in front. He did. Great stop by J.S. Shiger. Solani with the puck. Entering in the zone, the former duck in his own right. There's Lyles finding back door. Peter Forsberg, a great stop there by Jaguar, who's seen the puck well early on. Let's take a look at the lines tonight. For the Colorado Avalanche, no changes, just in net, of course. Tommy Sallow in. Otherwise, everything's been working so far so well for head coach Joe Quenville. 15 seconds to go on the power play. Here comes Vishnevsky. For a shot, maybe looking to find somebody. There's Paulson, a great shot. Stopped by Sallow. For the Ducks, they're looking to return to their form that found them in the 2003 Stanley Cup Finals. A final list as they lost to the Devils in seven games. But a uh, very different looking squad at this time. Paul Correa, Team Mussolini, two players that are synonymous with Ducks in their history. Not here anymore. They're here in Colorado now. Here comes Vishnevsky. Found, pa found Paulson, but the shot weakly on to Salo. He stops it. Back to five on five. The draw. Krogh wins it. Finds Soleil at the point. Soleil. Oh, and a fight breaking out here. Chris Bratton and Burnett. Chris Gradden's going to get the upper hand in this one. Garrett Burnett and Gradden both off five minutes for fighting. It's an early game tilt between these two teams. Seven minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first. Here's Fedorov finding Skula at the point. 
That's going to come out of the zone. Carney trying to reset here. He finds Crossbow. And that's offside as it backed up over the line to Fedorov. Martin Skula, four points on the season so far, plus two. Throwing around that body as well. Krogh wins that draw, finds Oja Lynch. Oja Lynch takes a big hit from Scratchton's there. Barnaby back the other way. Matthew Barnaby looking for an outlet, finds Fatos, backhander on, stopped by G. Gare. Leclerc will come back the other way. Leclerc stops up, makes a move down the half boards. There it is, Leclerc! His fourth of the season of a slick feed from Ruslan Soleil. And the Ducks take a 1-0 lead late in the first. A solid opening goal for the Ducks. But of course, the Avalanche, a team that will come back quick with goals. A hit there, no penalty on it, blatant interference. Here comes Sakura, a wraparound chance. salo has got that one. He will hold. Some rough stuff after the whistle here. Forsberg on the draw against Ruchin. Ruchin wins it. Slay on the point, blocked by his own teammate Nieder, uh, Niedermeyer. Roseval finds Forsberg. He's going to enter the zone. With Korea. Chance there. Two chances. Forsberg had one. Korea the other. Great stops by Jaguer. Back the other way. The Ducks looking to add another before the end of the period. Niedermeyer's back in. A sharp angle there. Stopped and let out. Here comes Solani. Lonnie bumped. And that's going to do it for the end of the first. The Ducks with a goal from Mike LeClaire take the lead 1 0 into the first intermission. We'll be back to the second period very shortly. So we kick off the second period. Shots 4 4 even in that first period, but the difference so far. The Mike LeClaire goal late in the first, giving the Ducks a 1-0 lead, but here comes Tange. Tange, Sakic, and Heyduk. Tange off the side of the net. Hooked up a little bit there. Lupul grabbing the puck and coming back the other way. Here comes Joffrey Lupul. Shot. Salos gloves that, plays it out to Sakic. Sakic back the other way, the captain of the Avalanche. The first shot, he can't get it there. There's Tange, finds Heyduk. Back to Sakic. Beyond the net now. Setting up. Here comes Tange. He's checked in front. Can get a shot away. Fedorov takes a big hit from Adam Foot. Foot's gonna lead it back the other the other way for the Yavs. Here's Blake. Foot. Poked away. Still with the puck are the avalanche. There's a backhander by Sakic stopped by Jaguer. Prosbol finds Fedorov. Fedorov shot stopped. Salah with a great pad stop there. Here comes Hayduk the other way. His teammates are changing. Hayduk, oh, on his way to the net. Hooked off by Lupul. Here comes Niedermeyer. Checked. Forsberg. Looking for a chance here. Forsberg can't get it away. Stripped by Soleil. Niedermeyer. 12 minutes to go in the second. Looking for an opportunity here. He skates in. He loses it. Oh, gets it back, though. And Rob Niedermeyer's got his first of the season. As that backhander just squeaked through. Found its way into the net. And the Ducks take a 2-0 lead here in the second period. Nikolishin off the draw. He'll win it. Puck comes out of the zone. Nikolishin will bring it back in, though. Takes a shot. There's Fatos. Gets that shot away, but a great stop by Jaguer. And for the Avalanche, what you didn't want, a lead for the Ducks and a steady goaltender at the other end as Jaguer has looked brilliant early on. Bonin intercepts that Sakura feed. Finds Nikolishin. Bumped off. Fatos again at the point, finds the puck. Nikolishin takes a shot from a sharp angle. G. 
Skistov. Penalty up coming to the Ducks. Another hooking call. This time going to go against Sammy Paulson. Sackick on the draw, loses it to Ruchin. Carney, slap shot as he entered the zone, he was blocked. Here comes Sackick the other way. Sackick, ooh, he was upended. Hadou got a shot off right behind him, but an easy glove save for J.S. Shiger. His stats, despite the three wins, that's obviously the most important one, looking pretty subpar for, for what J.S. Shiger usually puts out. Sackick on the draw as they set up now. The Avalanche, there's Hayduk scores! Milan Hayduk. He's got his second of the season off a slick feed from Blake and a one-timer past Jaguar as the Avalanche brings some momentum back to their game and cut the deficit to just one. Forsberg on the draw after the goal. He loses it to Ruchin as the Ducks have dominated the faceoff circle so far tonight. Here comes Forsberg who takes a hit from Ozelinch. Ozelinch leads the breakout the other way for the Mighty Ducks. Back in front finds Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer in front. McDonald scores! Andy McDonald. He gets his first. And the Ducks reopen their two goal lead. A broken play in front. Some less than stellar defense. And the Ducks easily coming right back with an answer. Shortly after that hate of goal. Fedorov won that draw. Here comes Skula the other way. Takes a hit. Sakic drops it to Skula. Tonge leading the charge back the other way. The Avs looking to get another goal. Get back into this one. Three and a half to go in the second period. Penalty up coming to the Avs. That one intercepted by Salo as he touches it up. He stopped a sure goal there as Rob Blake's going to go off for roughing. Joel Quenville not too impressed with this team so far tonight as the Ducks open up their first power play opportunity. Here's Soleil. Ozelin shot, blocked by his own teammate there, Sakura. Ozelin again finds Fedorov at the point. The set up there, Skrashtins intercepts, and Hayduk the other way, going to get a chance maybe. His wrist shot stopped by Shiger. Crossbow going towards the net. Salo will easily intercept that one and play it out to Vonanen. Vonanen looking for a chance. He takes a hit. Sakura makes a move around. Prospel gets a shot off. Might have hit the side of the net there. Didn't look too dangerous anyways. Here comes Fedorov. Fedorov finds Niedermeyer. That one's stopped by Salo. Back the other way. Shiger out of the net to play it. Oh, finds Skula right in front. Nearly bobbled it. Would have been an open net for Milan Hedu. Here comes Skula, though. Skula turns and fires. Easy stop for Sammy, Tommy Salo, rather. Thirty-eight seconds remaining on the Blake penalty as Nikolishin wins the draw, and that'll bring the puck out of the zone. Short time remaining in the second period. The Avalanche not a solid game so far. Here's Andy McDonald again. His shot stopped by Salo, keeping his team in it so far. Nikolishin back the other way. Minute thirty to go in the period. Almost the end of the power play opportunity for the Ducks. A few chances. Back in front, Ruchin shot stopped, held by Salo. Thought I'll do it for the power play. One eleven to go. Can there be another opportunity for either side before the end of the period? Connor Walchuk there. Roseval, Lyles as the Abs are having a tough time bringing it out of their zone. Here's Gio and Michael Lyles. In front, Connor Walchuk can't get the shot away as time expires. The end of the second period, the 
Clubs trade a couple goals each. A 3-1 lead, though, for the Ducks entering the third period. A dominated second period from the Anaheim Ducks. Out shooting the Avs 14-8 as we enter the third period. The Avs coming off the game where they came back in the third, down 3-1. Identical to this type of game. Can, do they have some of that magic left in them? Comes Heydu. The other way, takes a big hip check. Fedorov. Bring it in for the Ducks. Stops up, looks for somebody there, takes a shot, stopped by Salo. Haduk. Finds Sakic. Tange. Turned over. Again, this this top line of the Avalanche has their main criticism so far this season has been they're sometimes just too passive. There was a good opportunity there. Sakic, he's hooked on the breakaway, no call. Fedorov again coming back the other way. Looks for a trailer in front. Can't find it. Hey Duke. Stops up. Looking for an outlet. Can he find one? He can. He's going right to the net. He does get the shot off. And that's a great save from J.S. Shiger. The score remains 3-1. Vishnevsky back the other way. Works his way in. Looking for a pass. Can't get it there. Vishnevsky, though, turns it back over and Salo easily recovering that one and gets the whistle. Twelve thirty-nine to go in the third period. If the comeback's going to be on for the Avalanche, it might need to start pretty soon. Here comes Nikolishin. He's hooked off. Back the other way come the Ducks. Here's Steve Ruchin. He takes a big hit from Scratchdance. Nikolishin finds Barnaby. Barnaby the other way. Takes a shot. Stop. Great pass stop there from Jaguar. Puck turned over. Jumbled out of the zone, but here comes Roussel Soleil. We pass the midway point of the third period. Barnaby down the left wing. Takes that hit. Played out by Jaguar. Soleil back again. Finds McDonald. That shot's blocked on its way through. Svatos. Takes that hit. Back in front, Barnaby! And the Avalanche have gotten their way back into this game as Matthew Barnaby is going to get his first of the season of a slick feed from Ossie Vonanen. And he just elevated that puck. More of a deflection than anything else on that one. Just puts it right top corner past Jaguar. And we've got a game with 8.06 to go here in the third period. Top line's back out. Fedorov won the draw. Finds Skula. Skula hooked by Sakic, who's going to go to the box. Special teams has certainly been the weakness for the Avalanche so far this season as Quenville argues his case. Nevertheless, the captain's still in the box. Fedorov wins the draw. Soleil there. Fernando in front couldn't find it. Fedorov down low, back in front, and Sakura. as the theme of the night continues. A goal one way, and the Ducks answer. As the two-goal lead is again restored. Tommy Salo. Watches that one go past him as Sakura's got his second of the game. Sakic. Takes that hit. Tange, sharp angle shot. Some time running out here on the Avalanche. Your four game win streak in jeopardy. Blake, the other way, finds Tange. Tange with it. Couldn't. Beat it over to Sakic. And Lupul back the other way. Joffrey Lupul. Five minutes to go in the third. Here's Fedorov. Turns it over. Fedorov again. Up at the top of the circle. Skula to Carney. Looking for a pass. There's Skula. Shot stopped. And Lupul on the rebound. As the defensive laps 
of the Avalanche comes back to haunt them. And a 5-2 lead in what will likely be the insurance marker tonight for the Ducks. A defensive collapse there. More, more bad defensive play from the Avalanche here early to start the season. And certainly tonight, a magnifying glass on that as a weaker offensive team has been taking it to the Avalanche all night. Here comes Solani. Ozilinch. Entering the final minute of the third period tonight. Here's Ozilinch again. He can't get the shot through, but it ooh, does it ever get through. A weak one there. 6-2 Ducks. So I don't know if Ozilinch is going to get an easier goal than that. Off a defender in front as the collapse was on for the Colorado Avalanche. Tough night for Tommy Sallow. He's going to get the yank here. The final minute as David Abisher is going to come in. Might just be a method of calming down the nerves, calming down the team, seeing if they can use this final minute here to gain any sort of momentum heading into the next one. Here's Prosper, shot stopped. Big hit there, foot, finds Sakic on the wing. Sakic stood up by Fedorov, back to Tongay, finds Hayduk, shot blocked. 45 seconds to go, here's Skula. Skula's shot, he's been all over it tonight. Great pad stop by Abisher. Blake to Tongay. Finds Sakic. Sakic to Heydu. Oh, he couldn't get the shot away. What a hit by Lupul in front. Back Tange off the post. As the Avalanche have come on strong here in the final minute. Heydu. Blake to Tange. Tange. Finds Blake at the point. There's Sakic. A shot stopped by Jaguar. And he'll hold with just over 11 and a half seconds to go in the game here. But a strong showing, and that's what you want in a game like this for the Avalanche. A blowout one way. See if you can generate some momentum heading into the next matchup. On the draw, Forsberg, Ruchin. Ruchin wins that one as the Ducks have just dominated so far in this one. Maybe one last chance for the Avalanche here. Can't get a shot away, and that'll do it. So the Avalanche suffer their first loss of the season, and a lopsided 6-2 victory for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Jaguar Stellar tonight. A rough going for Tommy Salo and a rough defensive outing for the Avalanche. So three stars. We got Ruslan Soleil. Two assists tonight, a plus three. Great night for him. Second star, Rob Niedermeyer, who got his first of the season. Had an assist as well. And the first star tonight, Santos Oslinch, a great defensive performance, a very easy goal, but had an assist as well. Thanks for joining us from Anaheim. So a tough outing in that one, especially defensively, just you, you, we could see the collapse is coming all over the ice in that one. So not a strong game from us. Again, we ran into a pretty good goaltender there in J.S. Shaguer, uh, who didn't face a lot of work, but the, the shots he did face, he was pretty damn good on. Good aspect is no hot streaks or anything like that have come off the board. No cold streaks have started. Nobody's injured. Uh, so, so far, so good. I mean, if we're winning four out of every five games, this is going to be a very good season for our team. Uh, but, yeah, we're... That, that's a tough outing, but I mean the winning streak was probably going to end at some point. Uh, probably we didn't really want it to end against the Ducks. I'll say that much. So no new mail or anything like that. Uh, we're going to get ourselves back to uh, Abisher starting for this next one. Seems like we're back at home. It looks like we have a bit of a morale advantage um, as Abisher goes back up and Sal is up from an 87 by the looks of it. So let's take a look at our uh, matchup. Only three points for the Oilers. Again, this is one of the weaker teams in the NHL right now. Um, sitting first in our division, which is strange, considering we just lost a game. Unless everybody else has lost. I'm really confused on how that just worked. 
we, we weren't even, we were like third in the division and like eighth in the conference before the last game. But unless they're going off of games played and stuff like that. But anyways, maybe that's the way the standings used to work. But anyway, taking a look at these teams, uh, you know, we, we're better in pretty much every category. It looks like their power play is really struggling. Their penalty kill is really good to start the season. Uh, but we have an advantage on offense, defense, goaltending, and of course overall. And our goaltenders, Jesse Markinen in for the Oilers. Um, again, one of the lower rated goaltenders in the game. Uh, and against David Abisher, who's been very good to start the season. And hopefully he continues that even he, that final minute of relief. He made a couple of really good stops. So it must do something with the games played. So whenever you, you play more games or something, I don't know. You, I figure it's just based off points. Uh, but it doesn't look like it is. I don't know. It's very strange. Very strange. Although it is like a six, seven, eight place tie for first in the conference. So that would probably be why it's so wacky like that. But, ooh, Dallas really starting off bad this season. So again, I don't think we're going to change anything up going into the next game. Um, I think they've been, we've been pretty damn good with everything so far i think abisher coming back into the net and against a very weak opponent in the oilers uh should result in a pretty easy win i, I say that now but um yeah i think it should be pretty pretty good anyways guys that's gonna do it for this episode thank you so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up down below give me a subscription if you don't mind it helps me out a lot and hit that notification bell if you want to see more episodes or episodes as soon as they upload and as always, guys, I will catch you on the next one.